a tent for the Exodus. And this is going to sound really weird for those people who know that I like to prep. But I would say a lightweight tent that you can get at Walmart is more than sufficient for the Exodus. And it's probably better with one of these huge, heavy type of tents. It sounds kind of weird. I'm the type of person who flips out and goes crazy over shoes. I wear my shoes and I've got to wear those for three and a half years. Tents just a place I, I put my head at night. Doesn't mean anything. Weight means something to it. I don't think, think about it as well. Most of the people who are going to watch this video are from the United States. Is that where most of the people who are coming to faith is? There's some really poor countries out there. They don't have money for these massive tents that we have. You know, if you're trying to think, oh, we have to have a thousand dollar tent. Where's the guy from Vanuatu or from uh, Cambodia? Where are they getting that thousand dollar tent? I mean, they're just not, it's just not going to be acceptable. Our creator knows this. He's got it taken care of. We don't need to have the best of the things with the tents. Now, if something that you're wearing, shoes, get good shoes. You know, you're going to wear those things. And at the end of the three and a half years, you're either going to mount them or you're going to shoot them with a shotgun. Because <laughs> it's like, man, I want to change my clothes, but, you know, I, I didn't. Those are the ones that were blessed. I didn't want to change it during that three and a half year period. So... You know, you, you're going to have one emotion or the other, probably. But on a tent, go lightweight. We don't know how much of that time during the Exodus we're going to walk. And I think leaving um, Egypt, I think we're going to go by car or bus or whatever to get out of there fast. But after that, we might be walking. And lightweight is key, you know. And again, I know this may sound kind of weird because people think, man, this guy likes to prep. Not on a tent. You know, I don't want to carry a 10-pound shovel either. A little garden trowel works perfectly. That's one of the things we have to bring. Garden trowels, cheap, lightweight, easy. You can get them at Walmart. They're, they cost nothing. That's what we should be looking for. Things that are lightweight that get us there because, again, we could be... One of the things you will hear, though, and I'm kind of switching gears, is that people will say, well, they wear out. And there's nothing in Torah that says that your tent doesn't wear out. You know, that he's keeping that protected. But from what I see, I just don't think we're going to have these $1,000 tents. And again, I could be proven wrong. And if I am, no big deal to me. You know, I'll find some other tent. I'll have one built. It's not going to be a stressful point for my life. But that's how I would deal with them.